The Commanders get back to 3-3 three and three with a big-time victory on the road versus the 3-2, and two, or now 3-3, three and three, Atlanta Falcons. Welcome to the Commanders Report. I'm your host, Jack Sperry. Now let's break down today's matchup between the now 3-3 three and three Commanders and the Atlanta Falcons. And let me tell you, man, I thought that the person that really stood out today, we'll talk about Sam Howell in a bit, but man, Sam Howell. 14 to 21. You look at, you know, he's got, he's, oh, so this is the first half stats, Coop? Oh, that's right. So 151 yards and three touchdown passes today. He was dealing today. I thought he looked like a legitimate NFL starting quarterback today. And Brian Robinson, you know, the run game didn't really get going. 10 yards, three, 31 yards. Uh, you know, Chris Rodriguez Jr. had a couple of nice little runs uh, in, the, in, in this one as well. Terry McLaurin was the big time receiver today. Six catches and 81 yards. And then on the other side of the coin here, Desmond Ritter uh, was very on and off today. Lots of inaccurate passes through three interceptions, just 28 of 47. Did throw two touchdowns, but overall wasn't good enough to get his team the victory. Tyler Algier, 51 yards on 13 carries. Thought this run defense for the Commanders was straight up excellent today. Did a really great job uh, at, at stifling. This Ravens, or not Ravens, the Falcons uh, rushing attack, which is one of the best in football right now. Drake London absolutely went off with nine catches and 125 yards receiving. And it's a commander's win, so get in the comments section right now by spamming those W's down there in the chat. Let's go, man. Let's keep these positive vibes going. We're 3-3. Three and three. Let's keep it going right now by typing those W's down there in the comments section. Now let's give out some game balls here to the guys that I thought were the best performers on the field for the Washington Commanders today. Let's start with Sam Howell, who is probably going to be my MVP. Three passing touchdowns. You know, in the second half, you're running the football a lot, so he didn't get a big chance to show off his skills in the second half. But man, was he impressive today, especially in the first half. Stepping up in the pocket, delivering passes down the field. Once again, this kid is showing that he is a legitimate starting quarterback in this league. Is he a top 15, top 10 guy? Maybe not at this point, but he's showing that he's at least a top 25, top 20 type of guy in this league. He's my MVP today. He gets my first game ball, and I'm so excited to see what he's going to be able to do for the rest of this 2023 campaign. Today's Commander's Report video is brought to you by Prize Picks. If you're looking to spice up your game days this NFL season, get started with Prize Picks today. Prize Picks is a skill-based, real-money, daily fantasy sports game. You might be asking yourself, how does that work? Here's how. You pick two to six players, and if they'll go more or less than their Prize Picks projection, you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry for today's Commanders versus Falcons game. I had the more on Sam Howell passing yards, the more on Terry McLaurin receiving yards, and the more on Joey Sly field goals. If you want to get, on, get in on the action today, Check it out now at, at prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use our code CLNS for a deposit match up to $100 today. At Prize Picks, you aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks. With Prize Picks, it takes less than 60 seconds to make your picks. So get started right away, and you can even have your picks ready for Sunday night football tonight. So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use our code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. That's code CLNS at prizepicks.com slash CLNS for a deposit match up to $100 today. Now let's talk about Casey Tuhill, man, because, wow, he really stood out today. He was the only guy out there right now or in today's game, at least in my opinion, that was consistently giving pressure on Desmond Ritter. Chase Young had an opportunity to get a sack today. He whiffed. Montez Sweat didn't see him a whole lot in terms of the pass rush today. But Casey Tuhill, in a rotational role, had two sacks, two massive sacks in this football game. And it's really nice to know, as a Washington Commanders fan, that you got a guy like Casey Tuhill, who played a lot last year when Chase Young was out of the lineup. He was a starter for them last year a lot. And he was really, really impressive today. Really, really nice to have a guy like Tuhill in your lineup. And then Another defensive player here, Kendall Fuller, made some really big stops in this football game, was really sticky in coverage. He had an interception as well. Really liked what I saw from Kendall Fuller today. He showed without a shadow of a doubt today that he is the number one cornerback on this team right now. 
Absolutely. He was fantastic last year, in my opinion. He's carried that over to a really good start this season, in my opinion, as well here in 2023. Really proud of what Kendall's been able to do this year, and he is that number one presence in our room right now. Now, grade the commander's performance this week versus the Atlanta Falcons down there in the comments section. I'm going to give them a solid B, but let me know what you guys think down there in the comments about this uh, week six victory. And speaking of corners, I got another game ball to hand out here to Danny Johnson, who took Emmanuel Forbes' spot in the starting lineup, and man, did he look good today, man. He had multiple key deflections, pass breakups in this football game. He was sticky in coverage. You know, he was really the, he was the only member of the secondary, amongst corners at least, that didn't have an interception. Benjamin St. Juice did have a, a crucial interception in the end zone. But Danny, man, he was doing the dirty work in the middle of the field, making sure that Desmond Ritter couldn't target the middle, which was absolutely massive in this football game. Danny Johnson, I thought he did an excellent job, and this secondary is a lot better with him instead of Emmanuel Forbes at this point in the season. Now join the fam here. Sub for Commanders, Dubs. Big time victory here in week six for the Washington Commanders. So if you're excited about the Commanders victory and you want to join us for our future videos here on Commanders Report, make sure you click that subscribe button right now. And then how can I not give a game ball to the guy that clinched the game on defense? Jamin Davis got the third and final interception. He was in one-on-one -on -one coverage with Bijan Robinson outside and Desmond Ritter throws it a bit behind Bijan and... Jamin's right there, and he makes the play. So kudos to Jamin. Thought he made some really great plays as a run defender and as a pass defender today. I thought he looked absolutely fantastic out there. Played a great game of football. Jamin Davis gets my final game ball here in week six. Now that we've gone over all five of my game balls, let me know who your MVP of today's win over the Falcons was. For me, it's Sam Howell, but I think you could give it to a whole bunch of different people. Let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section, uh, and, and let me know. All right, so, so, so some final thoughts here on this win is that the Commanders are now sitting at 3-3. Three and three. You know, this really felt like a must-win game, losing three straight, giving up 33 or more points in your last four football games. And now the Commanders get a big-time victory on the road to get back to 500. You know, it's definitely going to be a tough road to the playoffs for the Commanders this year. This offensive line is still not very good. You still don't have much of a run game. You know, Desmond Ritter was able to move the football down the field for large portions of this game. Uh, so it's definitely not perfect for the commanders right now. But if there's anything that we've learned about Ron Rivera teams in his tenure as the head coach of the Washington Commanders, is that no matter what the talent looks like on the roster, this team fights. And you saw that today. I really think that this team is going to get close to playoff contention towards the end of the season. And right now, sitting at 3-3 three and three is about where I would have expected them to be heading into the season. All right, that's going to be it for today's show, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. Make sure you click that subscribe button to join us for our video tomorrow. We're going to be doing takeaways, more takeaways after I go over the All-22 film tonight. So make sure you click that subscribe button and don't miss our video tomorrow.